Welcome to the Rock of Gibraltar. Gibraltar is a tiny British territory located on the southern tip of Spain, just 14 kilometers north of Morocco. It is dominated by the Rock of Gibraltar and is commonly known as the Rock. We took a drive from Marbella, Spain to see this iconic landmark and enjoy a little slice of Britain in the far south of Europe. So we have come down to Gibraltar to see the Rock of Gibraltar. And when you come down here, you get to add another country to your passport. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, actually, where we're staying is only about a 30 minute walk across the border to the Rock of Gibraltar. How cool is that? Yes, we recommend staying in La Línea de Concepción on the Spanish side. It's far more reasonable. Our hotel is gorgeous. We're staying at Hotel Campo de Gibraltar. We're actually right across from the marina. So you have a beautiful view of the marina. We have a pool, breakfast included, all for a great rate. One of the unique things about walking across is that there is an airstrip between Spain and Gibraltar. If you are driving, walking, or taking the bus, chances are you may need to wait for a plane to land before you can go through. Waits can sometimes be as long as three hours to cross the border by car, so we suggest walking and going early in the morning to beat the crowds. So we stayed over at the Spanish side here in Gibraltar and walked across this morning. Uh, it opens at 9.30 a.m., so we walked across at 8.30, and we're just walking and checking out the sights as we go. It's an easy 15-minute walk to the old town from the airport that feels like a traditional English village. We weaved our way through the streets before catching the first cable car up to the top of the rock. Headed up on the cable car. We bought a cable car and nature reserve ticket online for 34 pounds and hopped right on board for our five minute journey to the top. Once we arrived, we had the entire day to explore anywhere we desired with our all-inclusive ticket. Welcome to Gibraltar. Our first stop was the top of the rock observation deck that offered stunning panoramic views. We not only saw Gibraltar, but we saw across the Strait of Gibraltar to Morocco in Africa and Spain's Costa del Sol. It is truly spectacular, but the star attraction is definitely the Rock of Gibraltar itself. So after you've looked at the lookout over the high point of the Rock of Gibraltar, you can enter the nature reserve. It doesn't cost that much more. How much does it cost? So it costs, uh, I think it was 16 pounds to enter the nature reserve, 16 or 18 pounds. But if you get the ticket, if you actually do come up on the cable car, you can get an all-inclusive ticket for like 32 pounds. And I think it's worth it. The lookout is great, but there's a lot of other activities once you get into the nature reserve. Then you can just walk down. One of the star attractions of Gibraltar is the Apes Den, where you'll find a group of monkeys who decided to call this place home at the cable car's midstation. But the Gibraltar monkeys are everywhere. Legend has it that as long as the macaws inhabit Gibraltar, the British will remain in power. The monkeys were so important to the British Empire that they were placed under the army's protection, and Winston Churchill even ordered more monkeys from Morocco when their numbers were on decline. Do you have food? I thought your shoes were bananas. Don't miss coming to the Skywalk. Amazing. Look at the views here. And I can see all the way down. The Skywalk is a glass walkway dangling 340 meters above sea level. It offers panoramic views of three countries and two continents and is said to be able to withstand the weight of five Asian elephants. Well, this is pretty cool. We're just standing over the abyss. I noticed that some people didn't want to come out here. So if you're afraid of heights, it might not be for you. <laughs> On to the next stop. 
So after the Skywalk, then you can come out to Douglas Point or Douglas Lookout here, which looks over the water. And then you can continue down the Mediterranean steps if you'd like to Jews Gate, or you can go back to the road and follow that down and that way you don't miss anything. Guess you gotta be skinny. It's an amazing hike through the Rock of Gibraltar and we followed the rocky trails from one attraction to another. Gibraltar was heavily fortified and there are plenty of ruins, guard stations and old lookouts to explore. Make sure to come into the fort for a great view. You may not want to do it, but make sure you walk up to O'Hara's Battery. It's worth it. O'Hara's Battery is an old war relic that was in operation from 1899 to 1976. There are war rooms and machinery to explore, and you can walk along its long underground tunnel. You know, I didn't think that I'd be interested in coming up here, but I'm really glad I made the hike up. It's very interesting. Ready for the ammo. Reload, reload. Ah, that was fun. It was worth it coming up here. Off we go into St. Michael's Cave. One not to miss place in Gibraltar is St. Michael's Cave. This beautiful cave is just one of many caves in the mountains, but St. Michael's is truly the most stunning. It has been used for thousands of years and it was believed to be one of the pillars of Hercules and the entryway to the underworld or the gates of hell. It's easy to see why, because when you enter, you'll clearly see formations that look like the wings of the Archangel Michael. There is so much to see here in Gibraltar. I literally thought we were going to take a cable car up and look around and head back down. But there's one attraction after another. So the caves are a great place to stop. You can get some snacks and a drink. There's a Wi-Fi here. There's a little show and you can buy some souvenirs. So it's got everything. Let's go. All right, so we made a decision. We're heading down the Royal Apian Way and hopefully we're gonna meet up with the suspension bridge that we can take across to the Apes Den. Fingers crossed. I've had enough uphill for today, so the downhill is pretty nice. So we're heading uh, to the Apes Den via the Windsor Suspension Bridge. I can see it in the distance there. It's just around the corner. The Windsor Suspension Bridge is a 71 meter long bridge dangling 50 meters over a deep gorge. It's located between two batteries along the Royal Anglian Way. But never fear, if you don't want to cross the bridge, you can always take the path along the mountain if you have a fear of heights. However, I highly recommend walking across to take in the beautiful scenic views. Look at this beautiful view from the Windsor Suspension Bridge here in Gibraltar. Mwah. Looks good. This is such an incredible day. I'm really glad that we took this way. The signs aren't very good. You think that to go to the Apes Den, you have to take the road, but this takes you this way as well. So I highly recommend it. A Little bit more of a workout, but you get this gorgeous old trail that takes you to the suspension bridge. There might be something great up there at uh, King Philip's Arch. I might regret it, but it's getting hot and it's all uphill and I'm uh, starting my descent down from Gibraltar. So uh, 
Yeah, we put in a good day. We're heading down to something soon. Right, Dave? Yep, been a long day, time to see some monkeys. There are plenty of opportunities to see old batteries, forts, and a Moorish castle. You'll find cannons and tunnels along the paths as well. One of our favorite tunnels was the World War II tunnels, giving us a sense of how harsh and difficult life was for the inhabitants during the many battles that were fought at the Rock of Gibraltar. Heading into the World War II tunnels. Got my hard hat. So I kept my ha hat on when I put my helmet on, so I looked like an idiot, but I was too lazy to take it off. So when you come in with your day ticket, that's 32 pounds, the tunnels are included. If you buy this just on your own, it's something like 16 or 18 pounds. So it's worth it to get the whole day ticket. We've seen everything. So once you come out of St. Michael's Cave, you walk on down to the lookout point and then turn left to go to the Jewish, the Jewish cemetery. You have 800 meters and it's all downhill, so be prepared. You have to walk back uphill once you see this. So uh, just be prepared. Located on the opposite side of the rock is the Jews Gate Cemetery. The cemetery was used from 1746 to 1848 to bury the Jewish residents of Gibraltar, including its chief rabbis. It's an out-of-the-way place, and when we visited, there was nobody else in sight. The Jews Gate Cemetery is a beautiful resting place for the Jewish inhabitants of the time, with a raised pathway leading over the graves. For more than a century, the graves were left overgrown with peat and moss. But after extensive excavations, the cemetery was rededicated in 2015 and opened to the public. When visiting Gibraltar, this is a peaceful retreat to meditate and reflect. Jews Gate is located at the start of the Mediterranean Steps, and if you are looking for a challenging hike, this legendary path takes you all the way up to O'Hara's Battery. It's very much an exhausting day. We're working our way down from the mountain and uh, we're 30 minutes away from our hotel still. It's uh, very hot and uh, I am tired. A visit to Gibraltar is definitely one for the travel bucket list. You only need a day to really see it all, but it's a lot of walking. However, you can take taxis or bus tours as well. When you are finished, make sure to spend at least one more day at the southern tip of Europe to enjoy the beaches and more breathtaking views of the top of the rock. See you next time. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click on that bell for notifications because we love sharing our travel experiences to bring you the best tips and advice from around the world.